Greetings, everyone. And I welcome you all back to even more of my Dragon Age 2 adventures with Artemy Hawk. So, last time we have explored even more of the areas in the Kirkwall city. And during this exploration you guys have witnessed the first backdrop of the hawk's behavior and it left some of you uh, baffled and really confused like what the heck just happened back there so today will be an extremely short session which I will completely dedicate to clearing out as much as I possibly can and explaining as much as I possibly can the reason of such a behavior of my Artemy Hawk. However guys, before I start my explanations I would like to remind you once again in this game I am representing the character of the Artemy Hawk his attitude, his choices, his uh, behavioral patterns they are not my decisions and the reason I am using in this session are uh, based on his beliefs, his attitude and his values they are not mine so please keep that in mind now the question that probably most of you uh, ask to yourself why the heck Hawk hated magic so much <clears throat> the reason for that is because he did not want to be born with it. Yes, he did not to be born with it. However, magic is one of those traits where you cannot just lightly toss aside. You actually have to deal with that trait every single day and now just imagine if you yourself had such a trait which you cannot possibly get rid of and other than that you cannot simply ignore that you actually have to live with that trait every single day would you really like that trait uh, if it puts such a limitation on yourself no, of course not. Like basically, basically, the best comparison that uh, comes to my mind would be uh, like the visible uh, disabilities, visible defects of the disabled people, like in our society like yes it will be uh, quite challenging to not use an analogy from the modern world into the reasoning of the hawk's behavior but still like this is like a visible body defect you do not want to be born with that and you can hate it as much as you want but this is not something that you can simply toss aside and ignore you have to deal with that every single day however you know of course uh, you can defensively deny it 
as much as you possibly can but in the end you'll have to accept it that you have to live with that you know however uh, I am more than positive guys that you have heard at least once some news about the accomplishments of the disabled people like say for example um, the wheelchair races or say like a wheelchair hack break dancing or uh, like the accomplishments in the business sphere of uh, couple very small people like I do not want to point out uh, to anybody specifically uh, thus I also do not know their names However, think about it uh, from that uh, perspective. Like, once they have accomplished something, do you really think they want to be uh, pointed out that they have these defects? Do they really want these defects to be pointed out? No! They don't want to even have a slightest look at this defect. They want to do their best to deny and conceal their defects. They, all they really want to be highlighted is their winning, their accomplishment. And just think about it, guys. If you had a visible body defect and you just have been constantly pointed out at it and to be constantly reminded about it how would you feel about it at least an annoyance right or even like visibly hurt this is exactly what formed the hawk's mind every mentioning about his defect his magic makes him at least cringe and he tries to avoid the uh, magical issue as much as he possibly can like yes he is in this except uh, denial state like he still does his best to deny his magic but at the same time he did accepted it however guys as I said before as I mentioned right before similar to those disabled people uh, I have mentioned before from our world like uh, visible defects or a very small height stuff like that they had overcome themselves and they found themselves a strength to put that through and they managed to use their defect to the uh, maximum opportunity well not the maximum opportunity but to take the most out of it and same applies to the hawk like yes he understands that the magic is the defect that he cannot strip out of him and he cannot ignore it so he uh, is now uh, one of those people who accepted uh, their uh, quote makers gift and when he can actually uh, try to use it for something and that's where he made his oath that if he's gotta live with magic I swear I will not use it in any way to hurt people directly and like that's the reason I explained earlier of uh, why exactly he will be the type of mage he is right now 
However, guys, uh, you might be wondering about why exactly uh, Hawk uh, considers the magic as the defect in the first place. How come he started to think that way? And that's uh, my way of thinking, guys. He was born as the mage, right? Uh, but he was not sent to the circle. So basically he was an apostate. Like basically consider circle as the school at this point. And like if he could not uh, go to the circle uh, to learn about the magic and to develop it, like the uh, first people who will uh, teach him the best about magic and magic usage are his uh, parents, right? Specifically uh, his uh, mother, Leandra. Like, yes, she could use uh, the uh, best wording uh, about teaching magic like she uh, uh, could do her best to put the magic like in the best way however as the parent she could not possibly ignore all the dangers that uh, magic uh, holds within it it's like the best analogy I can think of uh, is basically teaching the child to use a chainsaw. Yes, a chainsaw. It can be a very convenient tool to uh, cut the lumber. However, if it is not used properly, it can be the cause of the serious injury or death. Now, uh, since his uh, mother Gada uh, uh, tell him about the dangers and stuff like that, the hawk is smart. Like maybe not really smart, but smart enough to understand that Templars in the circle are not for the decoration and the magic is a very dangerous gift like all the fate uh, and stuff like that like the reason uh, why I think um, he uh, gotta know all that uh, nasty stuff is because his aunt I think cousin mom's cousin Mira Amel was the mage and she got to uh, understand like uh, all the dangers that the uh, magic can possibly have like uh, Leandra basically uh, at some point had to point out and these uh, dangerous points and now when Hawk knows about that the mages can be possessed if they're uh, not uh, strong enough mentally and stuff like that and they can uh, basically turn into the abominations every single minute do you really want to live a life where you have to be constantly aware constantly vary that something bad will happen and uh, the spirit will take possession of your body and basically um, throw away all the accomplishments you have made this far you know what I mean like to the Hawk's opinion to the Hawk's opinion like yes, Leandra was trying to represent the magic in the best way. However, children are very sensitive about everything that uh, 
they are hearing from the parents like uh, yes uh, she was trying to uh, get the best perception uh, from the magic on him like transfer the best perception of magic on him however uh, Hawk is a, was a sensitive child and like you know basically in a normal families uh, you do not necessarily notice uh, that something is different in terms of perception like uh, if you uh, tried to transfer this information in one way does not necessarily mean that the child himself has accepted this information in exactly the same way so basically for the hawk it was not a gift but rather a curse since you know it is a very uh, high payment for such a questionable gift in his opinion and it's like you know you gotta deal with that you know what I mean you gotta be constantly uh, on your guard constantly aware so basically uh, it's like constantly being tense where you cannot possibly ever relax like how people can possibly uh, stay unscarred after being constantly tense and without the opportunity to actually just have a uh, good long rest and uh, trying to live at least some minutes without actually worrying about um, so that something bad will happen at you at any minute you know what I mean that is uh, why uh, he the Artemy Hawk do not consider uh, magic as the gift but something very nasty a defect that he has to put up with every single day and where is he? and there is simply nothing that you can do about it and one last thing that I would like to clarify would be even if Hawk hates magic even he if he does not like magic and he tries to put it in a, in a good use la 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 why exactly uh, he uh, tries to behave as the Templar like uh, lean to the Templar this is Hawk's personal belief that you know he is still in the uh, denial state like he was not uh, he was born with the magic even though he did not wanted it and there is simply no way uh, to strip the magic out of him like I'm not considering the right of annulment since I'm more than positive that his mother would avoid uh, such topic so like he thinks that it's uh, literally unstrippable so uh, it's basically like a virus as long as you conceal it and as long as you uh, take precautions and stuff like that the risk will be uh, at least reduced if not completely averted so like he is still in this uh, that is why he is denying himself as the mage that leave up to the public like 
uh, you are basically uh, will denying uh, this curse, this gift inside yourself. So you do not take any steps of developing it. So basically, uh, you are uh, kinda, kinda concealing uh, this gift basically in your core, even though it is a bit contradic uh, contradictionary uh, on the uh, actual level up scale where you actually do develop your magic. But as I said before, uh, if uh, this defect cannot be removed, you gotta uh, put it in a good use, uh, which is making sure that none of his magic would actually hurt the people. So, here it is guys. I uh, honestly did my best to in explain and clear up as much as I possibly could about the reason of why exactly the hawk behaves this way like why exactly he was so hateful towards the magic and stuff like that like some the defect he can put up with every day and stuff like that uh, and which he eventually accepted as something that could not be done but to be accepted and dealt with. So, next time we will continue our adventures uh, of my mage Artemy Hawk and we will see how exactly his background and his attitude towards the magic uh, where exactly this will bring him to. So, until next time, guys! Bye!